I'm really not having a good day today, which means it's probably a good time for some coding. And I gotta say, it's probably not gonna look pretty. Now level 20 completed, totally fucked it. Uh, should I go for level 21, because it's the next in line? Or should I just fully explore this branch? Probably I'm in the mood for some Fibonacci, just to cause a bit more pain. This big hallway is for advanced employees only. Are you sure you want to be here? Well, not really. Oh, these are night shift assignments. Okay, that's why it's dark outside. And they are difficult. Oh, cool. For each thing in your inbox, send to the outbox the full Fibonacci sequence up to, but not exceeding that value. For example, if inbox is 10, outbox should be 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. The next number would be 13. So that's what we do not output anymore. If you don't know what a Fibonacci sequence is, ask your boss or a friendly search box. All right, this is gonna be a little shit. Yeah, this is gonna be very shit. What I'm thinking is we inbox, put it to here, and then we keep bumping it down as we... No, we don't, that's that's bullshit. I, I don't know. What if I were to take from this last bit which is a zero. No, sorry. We, I'm stumped. No idea what to do. What if I bump up the zero? What happens? Oh, you bump it up and you take it in your hand. Right. Well, not sure why there's the zero. Okay, I'm gonna need a zero yet. So screw that. What I'm gonna do is prepare here. So first, take the zero and put it here. Then bump up this uh, position. We're gonna have a one there and a one in our hands. I'd say we outbox that. First off, we need to take stuff from the inbox and put it to here. So this is gonna be the input. Then we take the zero, put it here, make it a one and outbox that. Then we need to take the two numbers that came before in the sequence, which is the zero and the one here and add them together to create another one. If I put another one there, so these are gonna be the two slots that we're gonna be working with. So if I run this, 21 goes here, I take the zero, put it there, bump it up, and put it there, and outbox. Let's outbox twice. Oh no, wait, um, I'm not gonna have anything in my hand, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Just the beginning is a little shit, right? Okay, I think I've got a loop here and it's a bit weird, it's a bit shit, but basically we take this zero, put it there, put it there and bump this up, then outbox it. That's the first one, this is like the initialization. Then we copy from the left number, that's the zero, add it to the second number. So basically add those two together, right? But then we need to override this number, the previous one in the sequence, and outbox. Then we need to take both of them again, add them together, put them there, that's a two outbox that, and repeat. So again, copy both of them, add them together, but this time we need to update the lower of the two values. So we need to keep updating those, but different one each time. So that's a three, next one should be five, and the two gets updated instead. So that's a five, and the two gets updated, output, and now it should be eight, and we update the three. Yes, okay, cool. Now we just need to put in a check that's gonna see if the number we've got we're trying to outbox is larger than the input. Because if that's the case, we just need to start over. So here, before outboxing, we need to subtract from this thingy. So I'd say before outboxing, let's just jump outside because this code is gonna be the same. So don't outbox. Oh, sorry, I messed up. It goes like this. And before every outbox, we need to I'd say copy to here, it's gonna be the result, and then try subtracting the input from the result. So let's say we've got 13 as the result, and we are going up to this eight, that's in the input. So we do eight minus 13, that's a negative number. So if this is a negative number, we don't want to output it anymore. We want to jump back to the start. If this is negative, jump to the start. Do not outbox. Oh, and when should you outbox? Well, you need to copy the result back. So copy from 
the result. Copy from the result. Because in your hand is going to be the subtracted value. So that's a 6. Initialization. 0, 1. Put in the 1. Add those two together. Copy. Yeah. And subtract. That's negative. Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, I was... I meant to subtract the other way around. Why did it... Should be 9 minus 1, right? 9. Oh, it's 1 minus 9. Oh, shit. Okay, that's annoying. So after copying to result, I need to copy from the input and subtract from the result. Copy from the input, subtract from the result, I think. Oh, no, wait, I'm an idiot. Oh, what did I do? Oh, no, no, no. What? Uh, I'm confused. 7 minus 1 is not negative, so you take the 1 and output that. Let's speed this up. Now we should have 5, that's still fine. And next, 3 plus 5 is 8. Put it there, 8. 7 minus 8 is negative 1, so you toss that, you take the 20. Take the 0, reinitialize here, make it a 1, and start over. So this is gonna take ages. Well, actually not, because it's it's quite quick, right? So there's 13, 21, and you stop. Okay, cool. I've done it. It's like the shittest, yeah, seven commands over. Yeah, I, I didn't expect this to go well. What the fuck? The speed challenge is completed? Holy shit. How did I manage that? This is just the shittest code ever. Tell me more. What's a Fibonacci sequence? Yeah, that's what I knew. The first two numbers are 1 and 1, so the third number is 2. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Shall we continue? No. Yes, let's leave that. Now, how do I get rid of six, seven commands, was it? I think this initialization is shit, but I kind of need it. I also don't like doing a, essentially exactly the same code here twice, but I just need to keep updating different values each time. I could have like 1 and a 2, make a 3, put it here and move the 2. How would I do that? I would have to put the 3 here and copy the 2, put it there, copy the 3, put it there and repeat. I, I'm not sure it would be fewer commands actually. Well, maybe, maybe. So we copy. This is, this is the part of the code, right? The initialization, let's leave it for now. But then I, I need to rename those. It's going to be 1. No. Um, it's going to be left. And this is going to be right. Okay, cool. The L looks shit. There, that's better. Left and right. So, we copy from the left, edit to the right. Now we've got the result. Let's copy that to here. Actually, let's let's not. Let's copy it to result. Yeah, so copy to result. Then you do the subtractions and figure out if we should even output that. If we should output that, you copy from result, outbox that. But afterwards, you need to copy from the right to the left and then copy from the result that's actually here. So let's copy to... No. Okay. And, and then you copy to the left. I mean the right. Yes, that's it. And remove all of this. I will explain in just a second. This all gets removed. And this as well. And repeat. Yeah. Oh, okay. That should work. 20 commands. How many did I need? 19. Shit. Okay, well, let's at least see if this works. Kind of did a temporary value there. Let me show you. Basically, this left value is always going to be the, the first one in the sequence. And this is going to be the second one, right? So now I do 0 and 1 is 1. That's the result. Let's do the check if we should output that. We should. So take it. Outbox right and now we need to shift this one to the left and take this one and put it to the right so copy from here put it there now copy from the result put it to the right and now we can repeat so with the ones it didn't make much sense but with the two it's gonna no it's not okay hang on with the three now let's see so two goes to the left then the three goes to the right and we've reset and and continue so this works as well and saved actually quite a few commands I think what was it 26 originally so shaved off six but it's taking longer which is fine because we've completed the speed challenge before what if I make the initialization already here just bump up the zero and outbox that 
then you take from the inbox and this is gonna be the say previous value let's just use this as well basically copy from the zero copy to right then bump up the zero and outbox that which means we don't need any of this initialization bullshit oh no wait i'm an idiot we need the zero because then it resets we need to reset on the second go so we can't really edit the zero. I thought I had something there. What if I try and hack this a little bit and after the initialization, we would have zero on the left side, one on the right side, that's here. But let's just make a one on the left side as well and outbox that. It should take us one iteration of all of this. Why am I saving on time? I don't need to save time. I need to save commands. What an idiot. Okay, anyway. Yeah, this is really faster. Uh, thank you. Uh, we need to shape of commands. So not that. I suppose one thing is that we always copy from the right side and then add them together. And in the end of the loop, we copy to right side and are still holding the item. So why would we copy from right? So I think that we can just remove this or maybe this. Now we need this, but we can remove copy from right. The only issue is in the initialization. So if I remove that, we need to be holding a one at the end. So we could just move it to here and it would still work the same. Yeah. And, and still basically the same amount of commands. I feel like there's something hidden in this part that I discovered. I, I just don't like that the outboxing kind of know gets rid of the data queue yeah no idea how to how to do that okay so basically this works it's 20 commands and it's a bit slow but it works so calm down but do give me some suggestions please because i feel like i'm close i just can't really figure it out just yet almost there almost there yeah and this is shit again but whatever you continue to the elevator yeah that's one green light right there just need to get the second one 